coming, big black wheels are humming. People waiting at the station, happy hearts are drumming. Hello, YouTube. Pipe smoker cowboy Chris coming at you again. I'm smoking some Stonehaven in my OMS Devil Ants pipe. And, um, I don't know really how to. I'll pick up my old mess lighter and see if I can. Well, the purpose of this video is I need I need some help. I don't know. This may not. It was pretty moist, but uh, I need I need your guys' help if you if you're so inclined. But um, today uh. I made me a GoFundMe account. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can put the link down in the bucket. Uh, but it, um, but um, I guess you could probably go to GoFundMe and uh, and look it up. It's opening Cowboy Chris's Radio Shop is what it's called. And. So, if if you're all so inclined to donate, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, as you all know, um, I've been I'm, I'm on unemployment, and uh, just seem to be getting nowhere, and. Uh, Good old my good buddy uh, Derek Tant said, "Open up that shop." I said, "Oh well." So, I was going to. I thought about. I was gonna um, go to the bank and get a loan, but then I'm thinking, you know, what what happens if uh, if it didn't fl go? Then I'll be stuck with trying to pay a loan, and so I thought, well, why don't I go ahead and make a GoFundMe account? And I, I was kind of hesitant, you know. I didn't post it on Facebook and stuff because I. I, my parents and my family are all in there and and, <clears throat> and I don't know that but I thought if, if, if I could get donations and <clears throat> and eat <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh boy. Um. Uh, and and each and every one of you guys that donate, uh, will uh become really good brothers. And um, uh, if you make it over here. 
um, give give you all a nice discount. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting kind of fed up. I'm going nowhere. Uh, I just feel like, you know, and I gotta wait on doggone, um, uh, <clears throat> see, I was on unemployment before, for a little bit, and they've gone to debit cards, which, Some uh, part of me is like, oh, that's fine and dandy, but the other part, eh, you know, it would make more sense, but they don't want to, I don't think they want to deal with it, but, uh, just, just directly deposit in my checking account, and, and, but they don't want to mess with that, I guess. That's the state for you, I mean, I'm sure that's, uh, I'm sure any state has debit card. Have all, they all have debit cards? So, but so I called the local work one office here, and and now I kind of forgotten what the lady had said. But a few more weeks or something, uh, and then I'll get a debit card. And then, but then she asked, "Were you on it before?" I said yes, but I don't have that card anymore. I don't know where that card got to, really. And I don't think it had an expiration date, but I guess it does. And by now, it's done, been expired. So I guess I'm gonna have to. Uh, call this number and see if I can get a debit card or when that's gonna come and this and that but I've got already got some money I got uh, a couple of uh, payments on there so <clears throat> I don't know so anyway and back to um when I set it up, the goal I put it at a hundred thousand, but I don't know if if that's too high or I mean, or if it's too low, or, because I honestly don't. Because I'd like to own and not win, but maybe that's, maybe that's the, maybe that's the way to go, but but what if I can't make enough or, or something to make the rent payment, you know? And then, so, and then fact, trying to factor in a building, and then, of course, your inventory, your, the, the, all the radios and, and all that go with it, and then, And then also the uh, repair side of it, because uh, you need test equipment, and most of that's not cheap. Well, all of it's really not cheap. I've got an old oscilloscope, but but I'm thinking if if you know just keep this one at home and and just just get everything i need at the shop and then and then plus a soldering station and that and um 
like it's a it's a rework station. It's got a soldering iron. It's got a desoldering iron. That's vacuum. And it it suck. You heat it up and then and then a vacuum kick. You kick the vacuum on and, and suck the solder off. Well. I know I've, uh, I need to get back with him, but um, he's got what they call, uh, uh, it's made by a company called Pace, and, and those aren't cheap either. <laughs> so, and then, to top it off, <clears throat> I'd have to hire an experienced radio tech, uh, and and see, you know, and part of the 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 the, the, the deal. Uh, let's see. I don't want him to think that I'm going to fire him, and I. But uh, I want. I want him to teach me. Him or her, depending on. Uh, I'm trying not to be sexist or anything, but, you know, him or her on how to repair radios. A lot of, and a lot of what the test equipment does is it, you know, but that, that's fine, but the thing, the thing is, is you know what do I need to check? What what you know? And that you know that, that's kind of <clears throat> why that. <clears throat> and then until you know, and. Uh, I, but but I, I'm definitely not gonna fire him after him or her um, after I you know learn. But uh, it'd be me and the other person repairing. Um, <clears throat> and then I mean, and I'll go back and forth, you know, out front and and. Uh, My wife doesn't know this yet, but, uh, well, I've, I've kind of told her, but she, she'll she be part of the, she'd be the, the vice president, co-owner, uh, manager, or whatever, uh, and, uh, but however, she doesn't know a lot about the radio stuff like I do. And but I think, uh, but however she uh, she could uh, I think she'd be a better cashier than I would. I mean I've done it, but I'm not the greatest. In math, and I can count change out. The thing is, you know, it's like okay, so I need to get him. I and I know the the cash register or, or whatever you're using would tell you what to give back, but it's just I know it's simple, but I just cannot get math. Any of it, really. And and and, and the funny part is, uh. Math is in ham radio, but not not all of them. Um, when you get to technician, you've got basic like pi. Uh, uh, so uh, so you have what they call Ohm's law, which is a pi formula. It's e over i times r, or p over i times r, depending on what you what you're wanting to do, and then. 
the general starts to get a little bit more, and then extra, which I am an extra class amateur radio operator, uh, that's got a little bit more formulas, but though those I can deal with, you know, but see your extras like the it tells you how and why stuff works the way it does and and so I know what the components are and but I just don't know how to troubleshoot and I need to get a, a new kit of uh, I bought in a kit uh, a while. It's been a while ago, and I've noticed. I think I've damaged the circuit board. I'm not well experienced. Luckily, the kit uh, it's not much at all. And then I got another kit. It's a voice changer kit. It's something kind of fun, you know. But uh, by building the kits. That I think that does in turn. I'm sorry, this is gonna be a long ass video. Um, uh, in turn, uh, since you put it together, it'd be a lot easier. Probably, you know, it'd probably be make it a lot easier to troubleshoot if something went wrong or bad, you know, but, but, but a, a radio, that's, you know, I wish it, it was like, I wish I, I was born in the 1950s, well, actually, the late 40s, because, uh, when Heathkit, and uh, if, if if you any in any sort of radio at all or electronics at all, you know who Heathkit is. And you had Heathkit, you had Nightkit, and I thought there was another one, but uh, but your biggest your bigger one was Heathkit, and then I think Night Nightkit kind of uh, fell below that, but. Uh, You would get, um, basically, you built your own radio, and Heath could try to come back, and yeah, I don't think they could, and 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 that was a sh and that's a shame, but they do have. A transceiver kit, uh, company by the name of Electrocraft. But the thing is, it's it's quite salty. I mean, you could have it. You you, you could do it in kit form, or you could uh, buy it already put together, and they're almost about the same price. So, but it's all the stuff that, the reason, you know, why the kids pop, and, and I think probably back in the day, he, he kid was kind of, you know, because of all the, all the stuff that goes with it, because it, everything was included. So, so if anybody, you know. Again, I mean, if, if if I'm I'm at my wit's end, and and I'm I don't know what what else. And Mr. Tant says, "Open up that radio shop." Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> okay, Mr. Tant, you say that uh, you better be my biggest donator. <laughs> oh. But, um, I mean, if, uh, Nathan Campbell got some 
Well, but see, that's different. I mean, he lost he, he, his house flooded out. So this is a little different. But it, it kind of in turn the same, you know. I've heard uh, I, I guess you can have uh, fundraisers for anything. So I thought, well, might as well let's see if I can get some donations. So uh, I'm sorry that this is. Oh my. Well, I um. This is, might be an hour long. I, I'm sorry if it is. So with that, I'm going to let you all go. I'll finish my pipe and uh, see if I can get this uploaded. So, this is Pipe Smoky Cowboy Chris. Uh, keep, stay smoky, my friends. Keep smoking the good stuff. And God bless. And we'll see you on the next video. Coming, big black wheels are humming. People waiting at.